Okay, we're on page 109 now, and it's the sine and cosine rules. So it's kind of like grown up uh, uh, trig because we're not dealing with right angled triangles. Um, if you have a right angle triangles, stick to your Sokotoa. If you don't have, you're going to need either your sine rule, your cosine rule, and they might ask you the area like they do here. So question one on page 109 is asking for the area of this triangle, G, H, this is 12, this is F, this is 37, and this is 9. Remember, we're just going to plug in basically our formula. Sine C, well, sine always has to do with an angle. So this is your angle. So guess what? This, I'm going to use different colors. This must be C. And A and B are the other ones. It doesn't matter which. So let's just now plug in our formula. We have 1 half times A, which is 12, times B, which is 9, times the sine of C, um, and I just plug that into my calculator. Frankly, I changed this to 0.5 so that I don't have to worry about, do I put in brackets? Do I put this all above and then divide it by two? Oh, to heck with that. I just know that half is 0.5. So I just say 0.5 times 12 times nine times sine of C, uh, and C is, uh, da -da -da, 37. And it asks for three significant figures, and that equals 32.498. So I'm rounding up. So I'm going to get 32.5. And that's my answer.